Hey guys, King Yuri here for the Tech World. I haven't done any tutorials or reviews in a while. Uh, it's been really busy. It's an exam week for me at school. And also, I've just been really, i been kind of sick lately. As you can kind of tell my voice, I just kind of have a sore throat. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I will do this review today because this is an application I've had for a while and I actually forgot to do a video on. And it's called Artisteer. Now, you may have heard of this from Chris Prillo or out there in the community. If you ever really wanted to build a site, whether it's, you know, you're not even... Uh, you know, wanted to start a blog and use something like WordPress, uh, Blogger, but you always wanted to make, you know, a really unique theme, something that really just suits your needs down to the very point, you know, what type of buttons do you want, what type of uh, column layout, all that stuff. You don't want to, you know, hire a web designer, you really don't want to go around looking for themes, or, you know, you just want to have something that stands out. Artisteer is an application that you can buy. Uh, you can try it out first if you're, uh, just to get a feel for it, and I, I guarantee you really like it because really really is easy to randomly you know select a theme and generate it and uh, kind of mess around with it to get it to your very liking and it supports a lot of things rather you know if it's Joomla, Blogger, WordPress, Drupal you know regular HTML site it's easy to use as you see here a very very uh, cool thing and I'm gonna go over to the overview here it says generates cool web design ideas adjusted generated adjust generated designs to create a great looking web or a website or blog template uh, you know, create it perfectly, uh, correct, validate HTML and CSS if you want to use those, you know, to conform with web standards. Uh, you don't really need to learn Photoshop or CSS, HTML, any of those. This does it all for you. Uh, and you can choose and use many included design elements, automatically solve problems with image aliasing, web browser compatibility, and other stuff. So, you know, you don't have to worry about the extra stuff like whether my theme will, you know, fit well in this browser and that browser. Uh, you can learn how to create professional HTML and CSS code because this does show you the code if you want to know it. Save money on WordPress themes because those do really cost a lot. And if you don't have the time, hire you know your kids or anybody else uh, using this application. You can train somebody, maybe you know somebody you work with, to create you a nice blog just using this application. As you see here, this is kind of an overview of it. Now with that, uh, again, you do have to buy it. I believe it's I'm not sure exactly for the price, but uh, you can check it out all of it over here at Artisteer. Dot com and I'm gonna actually minimize as we see when you open the artist your application I'm gonna uh, actually just hit uh, I'll go with a WordPress theme I want to build and right off the bat it gives me a layout that I can use by default if I want to use this one I can totally edit it totally redesign it uh, it just gives me something to work with like a default type layout and shows you how posts would look in it quotes tables that type of stuff um, so it's simple as that. As you see here, it's very type of uh, similar to the interface you would see like in a Microsoft Office application. Uh, you can go around here. Uh, you can suggest colors. Like so, you click this, and then it gives you different color palettes and different color combinations that you can use within your blog. You know, whether it's a blue shades of blue, shades of red, that type of thing. You can also so as you see here, just change the colors automatically for me so pretty much I can suggest anything where it'll randomly try out a set of colors a set of layouts a set of fonts or I can manually go into it and you know design it how I want it you know I want these three colors I want this certain font I want this typography I want it to be this size you know in terms of layout you can easily adjust how many columns you want so let's say you want one column you want two columns you want one column to the left one column to the right you want both on the right very very adjustable along with width options uh, height options as well, uh, and, you know, it goes into background, so you can have, you know, a different background, or you can add your own wallpaper or gradients, you can add cool glares and stuff like that, uh, some other cool things, and as you see, there's an update for mine, actually, some other cool things you can go into, um, menus, very, very cool, so, like, you know, maybe you don't want these type of buttons, you want different type of buttons, uh, articles, uh, very, you know, you're testing out how your article lays out, styling of it, very very nice you know whether you want the text to wrap around an image that type of thing buttons and footers I mean the possibilities are really really endless and what I like is the the interface is very very you know user friendly it's you know something you can easily pick up and you know go around and edit and like I said it's kind of has that Microsoft Office feel if you've ever used Word or anything like that uh, a whole bunch of you know tabs up here for you to choose from and you choose it show what you want to edit and it's simple as that you know click one thing and it generates it and then it changes it that simple. Not only that, it gives you a lot of great options to suggest different designs. Though the one flaw, uh, some of the, you know, I wish it had like a gallery or something that you can look through just because, uh, or, you know, where users can upload, you know, stuff that uh, other people can use just because the default suggested themes aren't that good to start with until, you know, you actually really start getting into the customization. 
but this really gives you control over your blog or website that you want to make without knowing any HTML or CSS experience. I mean, you can add shadows, borders, transparency to your backgrounds, to your images on your blog, and, you know, style it so it's a three-column layout instead of, you know, a one-column layout. Really, really cool stuff. You can, uh, like I said, you don't have to worry about it being compatible in Firefox, Opera, all those different browsers because our steer, <coughs> excuse me, our steer handles it all for you. Uh, so, again, you get a live update, and then once you're done, you can go ahead and export it uh, in whatever, you know, a WordPress theme format, an HTML page to look at it. Or you can you know, look at different export options. Or you can just save the project or preview it within any of these browsers. So right here it has options for Safari, Opera. As you see here, I only have Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome installed by default. And again, it shows you different articles and how headings would look like within your post. You can change just about anything on the theme because you can really, really customize it to be your own. So if you're a web designer out there or, you know, a web designer in the making, you're just looking forward to, you know, making your own site or designing a website for others, this is a tool I would highly recommend whether, you know, doing, not even if you're doing WordPress blogs, any sites at all, Joomla, TypePad, Blogger, all those sites. Uh, this really does give you a head start. And, you know, if you want to look at the code, you can look at the code too just to get a feel of, you know, what the HTML and CSS, you know, looks like for a theme that you, uh, you know, want to create. So a really, really cool application. So I want to thank the guys at Artisteer. Uh, for sending it over the interface is great easy to use uh, the price points not too bad you know it's it's uh, it saves you money overall in terms of you know you buying an $80 WordPress premium theme than just buying this app where you can make your own the possibilities are really endless with this in terms of stuff you can make uh, you know like WordPress themes Joomla themes wait basic HTML pages for your website for other people's website you know you can get into the whole developing thing anyways this is a great application like I said uh, it has a lot of pros, has its cons. All links will be in the video description to the right. I really do thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I uh, hope you do check out Artist here. It's a pretty good program for you uh, web designers out there. Anyways, thanks for watching.